Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a wear test. Yeah girl! Our first foundation wear test ever here on my channel. Today's wear test is going to be two very pricey and high-end foundations. Um, as mentioned in my previous video, which was my big haul from Sephora and Ulta, I purchased these two babies right here. The one to the left is my Hourglass Stick Foundation, and this one right here is my Dior Forever Foundation. So, I'm going to be trying these babies out together because I am a huge Jaclyn Hill fan. I absolutely adore Jaclyn Hill. If you don't know Jaclyn Hill, you are living under a rock, girl. She is my soul sister. I've learned so much makeup tips and tricks from Jaclyn Hill. Her favorite current foundation routine is this one right here. And I wanted to give it a try and see if my foundation will look just as beautiful as it looks on her face. I've also watched many, many YouTubers that have raved about both foundations before. I think Jaclyn Hill is the only one who has really raved about these two together and being the most amazing foundation routine, but I have heard about each individual foundation by itself being amazing. Um, so for today, I really want to do a foundation wear test for at least six hours and at most like eight to ten hours because if you go to work in the morning and you come home and it's an eight hour shift, clearly, clearly you want your foundation to really last on your face without falling apart. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this baby. I usually apply my moisturizer, I would say about five to 10 minutes before my primer and then foundation. So I've already applied my moisturizer on my face and I am using the, oh, my sister just taught me how to say this moisturizer. I said it wrong in my haul and she corrected me and I was like, thank you so much. I know for next time and right now is next time and I don't remember it. Is it Ollie Henriksen? Ollie Henriksen? We're gonna get to the bottom of this. It's pronounced Ole Henriksen. Did I get it, Ina M? Did I get it? Yes, girl, you did. The next thing we're gonna do is apply primer to the face. So we're gonna dip into the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. Ah, I don't know why this is tongue twisting for me. Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. There we go. I got it. We're dipping right into this. Be careful when you use this, okay girl? Especially if you have oily skin. Um, do not use a ton of this. A little bit goes a long way. And again, as I mentioned in my haul when I was kind of testing it out in the back of my hand, it does feel very, very oily. And if you already have oily skin and you put your moisturizer on, nobody wants a slip and slide in situation on your face. So just be, just be a little cautious. I literally use like one pump of this. That's it. And I put it in the back of my hand instead of like smearing it all over my face right away. So now we're just gonna go ahead and smooth all of this primer into the nose, our T-zone. All right, so now we're gonna dip into our foundation. I'm gonna first grab my Hourglass Stick Foundation and this is in the shade Sand, FYI. And I'm just going to put a bunch of stripes on my face. And then of course you want to bring it to the neck. I'm going to grab my glass plate, my handy dandy Target glass plate, and then I'm just going to put two pumps of the, actually let's start with one. Uh, ma'am, going to need more than that. Let's do, girl, I'm going to do three. Wow, this like squirts out hardcore. Of course, I'm going to start on my left side of my face, which is where I have all my acne scars. So I really want to see how well it covers them up. It lays really nicely on this face. My face looks super hydrated. Like it's definitely a dewy foundation routine. It's not mattifying at all. Definitely say it's medium to full coverage. Let's move to concealer baby. We're going to be using, of course, the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm just going to be concealing the areas I usually do, no big thing. I actually don't do like a full on triangle anymore like I used to, like a whole, psh, like that whole situation. I just feel like this little bit goes such a long way that I don't really do the whole triangle thing. Alright, my Tarte Shape Tape looks bomb right now underneath my eye and on my forehead it looks really really good almost like airbrushed i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and grab my cover fx translucent um setting powder in the shade light 
because I really want to give this foundation like the best wear test possible, I'm going to do what I usually do whenever I'm running errands um, with my foundation and especially in this freaking heat and that is pushing my translucent powder really into the skin. So let me show you what I mean. I don't know if it's the dampness in my beauty sponge mixed with the powder and the pressure. For some reason, I just find that it really does help seal my oils in and it doesn't allow me to get oily as quickly throughout the day. So I do this every time I do any errands. I just really like press the powder into my skin. I'm telling you guys, if you have oily skin, please try this. It's a game changer. It really is. Real quick, I'm starting this like new diet. <gasps> I can't wait to share with you guys my struggle and the whole diet process and my vlogs because I've been vlogging every single day of this new diet that we're doing. Whew, girl, I am struggling. All right, my loves, I'm gonna do all my makeup off camera. The brows, the eyes, the blush, the bronzer, the whole nine yards, and I will be right back. I am back. I just got done finishing up the rest of my makeup. So far, so good. I've only had it on my skin, though, for about an hour. I applied it around, like, 2 o'clock. I think it was, like, 1.45, but we'll say 2 o'clock. Yeah, we're going to make some moves. Um, i got to go to Target, Post Office, Fry's. Is that it? Is that all the places? Oh, you know I'm going to go to Dutch Bros, girl. I'm going to get me my coffee. Right now it is 2.52 in the afternoon, so let's go run some errands, shall we? I'll meet you guys in the car. Hi. Okay, we're on the road. We're on the road, Jack. Oh, 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 hold on. I got to I gotta go. <laughs> um, all right, so we're on our way to go get some DB, some young Dutch bros, because your girl needs coffee in her life. My errands should only take me about, I would say, like an hour or two. Um, yeah, maybe about two hours. So far, the foundation looks on fleek, girl. So I just got to Fry's. It is 3.31. I already got my Dutch Bros drink. It is this bad boy right here. You know I'm drinking a healthy drink when it's dark like this. It is 101 degrees out. Whew. Whew. I just got back from Fry's. It's 4.35 right now. Um, yeah. Well, I've been wearing the foundation for two and a half hours, and I don't think I need a touch-up yet. I think I can go, like, another hour before I do a touch-up. I am looking a little oily on my nose and a little bit right here on my forehead. It just looks a little shiny. Quick update. It's 6.19 in the evening. We're going to eat our lunch, even though it's kind of, like, almost dinner time, but the day flew by so quick for us. I've had the foundation on for about four hours, and you can see that I'm starting to get oily up here on my forehead, so I do need a touch up. Um, I'll touch it up when I'm done eating, because I'm starving. All right, my loves, check in. It is 7.05 at night. I've officially had this makeup on for about five hours. I have not touched up my makeup once yet, just because um, I've been on the move and I really haven't had a chance to. All right. So far, so good. My foundation is holding up really well. I'm not separating anywhere. And on my smile line area, I feel like that now I'm starting to like crease up right there. Around my nostril, my nose, it's starting to crease up a little bit. My oils are starting to definitely like come to surface on my foundation. But for it to be on my face for five hours, not too shabby. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a touch up, my very first touch up for the day. I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye um, Pressed Translucent Powder. And I'm grabbing my Morphe G7 brush. It's just like a really big powder brush. I just press it into my T zone and that's it. I'm gonna press it into my chin, into my nose on the sides of my nose, underneath my eye, and a little bit on my forehead. That is it for this check-in. I shall check in after I'm done with dinner. I'll probably cook dinner, eat dinner, then check back in for my last check-in. All right, loves, I'll see you in a few hours. It is 8.09, oh, 8.10. And um, my honey and I are on our way to Ulta because we need to get face wash. Hello, my loves, I'm back with my last check-in for 
the night because my eyelashes are starting to come off. My makeup is now starting to separate just a little bit on my nose because my nose is so oily. Right here, like on the bridge of my nose because I did get my powder brush and I actually should have probably used like um, a beauty blender instead, but I kind of like hit that area a little too hard so I separated my makeup. But overall, no separation underneath my eye, no separation on my forehead, my chin, my smile lines which again are the main areas that I usually get separation in my foundation after like, mm, I say six hours. So for it to be eight and nada, that is very good in my oily book. <laughs> yeah. After trying these out together, I do highly recommend them. I think that they're both really good full coverage foundations for being like $98 for this foundation routine. Do I think it's worth it? $98 like that's a really expensive foundation routine I definitely don't think that that's required I think that you could still achieve a full coverage flawless um, foundation with half the price and not spending this much money on a foundation routine I just chose to go out of my way and try it out because I was curious so it did take me a few months to actually work up the courage to go out and buy these expensive foundations but they did work amazing on my oily skin I think that the primer also has a huge part um, of making sure that your oils don't come to surface and making sure that your foundation really stays on your face really nicely throughout the day without separating. If you are dry skin or you have like normal combinational skin, I definitely think that these foundations will last even longer on your face without you needing to do any touch-ups. I had to do, what, ma'am? I had to do two touch-ups um, throughout the eight hours with being super duper oily. So keep that in mind. These babies definitely knocked my Clinique foundation, my Cover FX foundation, and my Wet n Wild foundation out of the water. But for the price that you pay, I mean it better. So, so yeah, um, that's it. Oh my god, such an easy video. Let me know down below if there are any products at all that you have in mind that you would like me to test out. Maybe it's a new foundation, maybe it's a drugstore, or an expensive foundation, even primer. Let me know that down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel on your way out the door if you're not subscribed already. Share this video with your friends, family, coworker. I mean, I'm really trying to expand this family we have here. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time a new video goes live on my channel. I love you so much. I'll see you guys on my next video.